everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today is, it's Tuesday, it's the beginning of the week and today I want to talk about addictive foods and how to let go of them once and for all, okay? Because lately I've got a ton of clients that are all dealing with, with food addictions and I've got one that's beating the coffee addiction, I've got three that are onto the sugar addictions and another one letting go of the wheat addiction and over the weekend I got an email about someone that's addicted to soda and it just goes on and on and on and I think it's great because you know what I'm seeing people win I'm seeing them have a victory over their addictions and just letting them go which is fantastic and it's the time of year really to be doing that okay it's, it's springtime we're leaving the addictions behind into the winter and we're moving forward into the sunny summer, okay? Into a new life, into health and happiness and just glowing with pride and self-confidence and self-respect. So, main thing is, is that, you know, because you guys also know I used to be, I used to be addicted, okay? I, I, was, I was a smoker, a heavy smoker for over 20 years, okay? Cigarettes in one hand, coffee in the other and totally addicted to sugar, okay? That was me and it controlled my life. It controlled my happiness. It controlled every move I made for 20 years. And I cannot tell you the freedom and just the ultimate freedom of being able to let go of an addiction. Because what an addiction is, is it can it's something outside of you that's controlling your life it controls your thoughts it controls your feelings it controls your actions it controls everything okay someone's day can be a great day or a bad day and it all comes down to their addiction and so who wants to give the power of their life away to that food to that piece of cake to that can of soda to the coffee to the smokes to whatever it is do you really want that substance to control everything in your life? No. And, and I think, you know, the whole thing that addiction always comes hand in hand with this terrible drama. And it's just this vicious cycle of like, you need to feed the addiction, but at the same time you feel so terrible about it. And there's just this constant feeling, this weight of guilt and of resentment and of just needing you know and at the same time a lot of times we're trying to hide our addictions from like our family our friends our loved ones everything so there's a lot of stress and just so much negativity revolved around this addiction that we're just constantly feeding so we've got to get rid of it kick it out of our lives once and for all and you know i think the number one thing is, and I really want to emphasize this, is that it doesn't have to be a negative experience, okay? I think so much media and, and like movies, TV shows, advertisements, everything out there is always scaring us into believing that to let go of an addiction is just the hardest thing to do and that it's going to be the most torturous experience of your entire life and you probably won't be able to get through it. Okay, I mean, how many movies have we seen showing us that, right? That we believe it. We believe that like change is bad and it's going to be difficult and and who knows if we're, we're going to make it out, you know? And I mean, the moment you give in to that, it's like you, you're just giving, you're giving all the power of your life away. Okay, you're giving your abilities away, you're giving your self-respect away, you're giving your self-confidence, you're giving, giving your life away to someone else that's told you or dictated to you that, you know, things are going to have to go this way or no way. Okay, and the main thing is, is that I want to tell you from my own experience, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard at all. There doesn't need to be a drama. And it can actually be a really good experience. It can actually be fun. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it can be fun. It can be enjoyable. It can be the best time of your life. You make it. You determine it. You know, I mean, every day you wake up and you determine whether your day is going to be gloom or doom or great. And same thing goes with these addictions is that it's really, it's up to you. And I really believe that's the first thing that it, when you determine it's going to be good and you're going to have fun and you're going to actually m remember this as being such a good, great time, you'll go out of your way to ensure it, okay? And you'll be pleasantly surprised that it actually happens that way, okay? So the first thing is to really make that deal with yourself that 
you're gonna love it. You're gonna love the process. <laughs> you're gonna celebrate it because it's worth celebrating, okay? The main thing is, is that the moment you let go of your addiction and all you have to do to let go of the addiction is just let it go. Just drop it, just leave it, and just walk away. The moment you walk away from an addiction, every step you take, every day that goes by, you are get, going further and further and further away from that addiction. Eventually it's no longer even in the periphery. It's no longer in your consciousness. It's no longer, you're no longer affected by it. You don't even notice it. And then one day you might be like, oh my goodness, like, when was the last time I thought about this? You know, when, you know, I can't believe I was once upon a time addicted to this. This is so not me, <laughs> you know, and that's it. And change just happened naturally. You didn't have to force it. You didn't have to create it. You didn't have to fight it. It just happened. But you gotta let it happen. And the only way by letting it happen is just walking away. That's all you need to do. That's it, okay? You walk away from the addiction. Now, before you walk away from that addiction, I want you to do one thing, because what's most important is being prepared, okay? And there's two things that you need to do. The first thing is, is and I love this ex exercise, is to sit down and just close your eyes for a few seconds, okay? And just, just imagine what it feels like to be free. What does it feel like to be in your body and living your life and being 100% free? How do you feel? Okay, what does your life look like? What do you look like? What, what, what does it feel like to be in or you know living your life, being a hundred percent free? Because when you're a hundred percent free, that means you have no more addictions. Okay, and that's what it's going to feel like when you let go of the addiction. Okay, but if you know what it feels like and how good it feels, and and how different it feels from what you're used to it'll be easier to let go of that addiction because you know what, you'll want to feel that way. And you can, okay? So that's the number one thing. Second thing is to being prepared is, you know, I don't really believe it's the withdrawal, like the physical withdrawal that's, such, that's so difficult for people to get through. It's more the change of pattern, the change of everyday habits, okay? Suddenly you no longer have that thing you're addicted to. Okay, and for some people it's like, you know, it's, it's, it, they're getting off coffee, so they have to figure out what are they going to do first thing in the morning instead of having coffee, you know? What are they going to order when they go to the coffee shop with their friends? What, you know, if someone's getting off of sugar, you know, it's like, what are they going to have instead of a candy bar during their, their lunch break, you know? Or you have to think about what, it, what are you going to do for the next week without these substances, okay? Because if you're prepared for it beforehand, then you're equipped, you know what to do, and you've, you've already planned it out, you've mapped it out, you know what to do. But if you're not prepared, then, you know, it, it's like, you know, you might be throwing yourself into disaster, or you might be creating more of a drama than there needs to be. We don't want that. So it's being prepared, it's being equipped, and it's thinking forward. Okay, so that, that's it. it. It's and with being prepared, it also really what I suggest and I really stress is that the first two weeks of getting off of any kind of addictive food or substance is really make those two weeks the best weeks of your life. Go and do things that make you happy. Go go and get your hair cut, go and get that massage you always wanted. Go and get you know, go and hiking, go and get that gym membership. Go to the health food store and get a bunch of beautiful groceries. Go and do, hang out with your friends, go dancing, go out on dates. Do things that make you feel good. In those two weeks off of that addictive substance, I want you to concentrate on doing as many great activities as possible that make you feel good in your body, make you feel good in your life, in everything. Because getting off an addictive substance, it's not so much about getting off of the food and and the food itself, it's a matter of bringing in as much happiness into your life as possible so that you're celebrating your life because the moment you gave it up, it's over, it's done. Time to celebrate, okay? Time to have fun and try, time to live a life true to you. So on that note, I wish you guys a fabulous, fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.